DDT has been banned in this country for more than 50 years, but a new study shows fish still have the poisonous pesticide in their system. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Shannon Handy in for Carlo Chiquetta. The study was conducted by researchers at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. CBS 8's Steve Price got an early copy of the results and joins us live now with the details from Pacific Beach. Steve? Yeah, Shannon and Marcella, more than a, more than thousands of barrels of contaminated waste were dumped into a dozen different sites in Southern California in the ocean, including here in San Diego. Now, 50 years later, researchers are wondering if our fish is safe to eat. The federal government banned the use of DDT in the early 1970s, but more than 50 years later, researchers are still finding fish off the coast of Southern California that have the dangerous pesticide in their system. I don't think anyone believed that it would be a problem for as long as it has been. Lillian McGill is leading the research team at Scripps Institution of Oceanography that's been looking into the long-term effects of DDT in the fish we eat. DDT got into our water because between 1940 and 1970, the company that made it dumped hundreds of tons of contaminated waste into the ocean at several different sites, including spots off the coast of San Diego. Across the entire Southern California Bight, um, there are definitely hot spots of DDT where you need to be really careful about what you eat. McGill said what they found is that the DDT didn't really spread very far from the spots where it was dumped, but that the sediment in those spots were definitely contaminated. In our results, we see that species that reside on the sediment and pretty low in the water column, like halibut, which is a flatfish, they tend to have much higher concentrations of DDT. But McGill says fish caught right off the coast of San Diego did not show signs of unsafe contamination because in our area, the dumping happened in deeper water farther out, unlike fish caught in the Palos Verdes Peninsula in the L.A. area where there was dumping just off the shoreline. I was really surprised at how strong the relationship was between fish and sediment contamination. Um, so if you look at it, it's a pretty linear relationship where you get higher DDT in sediment and you get higher DDT in fish. Researchers also found that fish today don't have quite as high of DDT levels as they did in the late 1990s, but it's not clear if the water is safer or if over time the contaminated sediment has been buried by new sediment. And signs of poisoning from DDT can include nausea, tremors, dizziness, long-term effects can include several different types of cancers along with respiratory problems. Shannon and Marcella. Steve, quite a concerning report. Now you mentioned the impact on people, but what about the marine life in the ocean that also eat those fish? So Marcella, here's the thing. When we eat fish, we only eat basically the fillets. But when other animals out there are eating these fish, they're eating the whole thing, including the fat. And that's where the DDT tends to be stored. So those animals like sea lions and seals are getting really sick, including cancers and dying when they eat the contaminated fish. All right, some important information there. Thanks, Steve.